This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Okay, welcome back. And in this lesson here, we're going to be building the spokes. So we're going to build some surfaces. We'll start off by creating a new layer. Call this spoke SRF and set that to the current layer. We're going to begin by revolving this surface right here. So surface and revolve. Select this curve. Right click. The start is going to be zero and enter. In the end, hold shift and left click. We're going to do the full circle option. So there we have it. And now I want to cut this surface with these curves. There's quite a few ways we could do this. One way is to take these curves here and extrude them. You need to use both directions you can. And now that they intersect and come beyond the outside of the surface, if these are inside, then this piece is a little too long. I'm going to split this surface with the other ones. So split, the object to split is the surface here. And now I can right click. And the cutting objects are all these other surfaces. Right click to complete. And now we can see I can select these and I'm just selecting them and pressing the delete key. Turn off the spoke curves. So now we have the inside of our rim here. And to continue making this have some sort of thickness. And I want the inside surface to be flat. So to do this, we're going to first get the outside curve from this object. So under curve, curve from object is duplicate border. Select this object and right click. You can see now it says duplicated one border and we can see the selected curve on the outside. Go into your front view. We want to project this curve onto the construction plane. So under transform is project to C-plane. Make sure your front view is the current view. We'll say delete input objects, no. And you'll see now you have a new curve that's been flat. Come into the right view and click and drag while holding shift. You can drag this back beyond the outside surface of the rim. And we can build the surface with this. So surface, planar curves, select this curve here, and right click. Now we have a planar surface. And I need to connect these two. So to do that, I'm going to draw a single line, turn on my end snap here and snap here and here. Now I can do a two rail sweep. So surface, sweep two rails. Find the curve here. If you get surface edge, make sure you choose curve. Find the curve here. And then now our cross section is this line here. We'll right click and have do not simplify and click OK. Now we can join all these surfaces up. One, two, and three. And we'll choose join three surfaces into one closed poly surface. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some more interest to the edges here by putting chamfers on them. So solid, fillet edge, chamfer edge. I'm going to select all these edges here, just the outside ones, and right click. You can see all the handles pop up. We're going to add some handles, so choose add handle. And if your mid snap's not on, turn that on, and you'll find some mids here. I'm just clicking and adding these handles at the mid snap. And right click once you've added all the handles. And I'm going to set the chamfer smaller on the inside. So click on the end of the handle so you can control it. And once you have that, type in 0.5, enter. Click on another one. 0.5, enter. I'm just clicking on the end of the handle and typing in 0.5 and enter. 
So all these outside ones should be set to one. And we'll go ahead and right click to complete the command. And there you have it. Make sure your object is closed. So choose show edges, select the object and right click. You can see we have no naked edges. Got to watch sometimes if your chamfer values get too large, you can break the surfaces apart. I'm going to hide this for a second and take some of these curves here and change them onto the spoke curve layer. Now I can right click on the bulb to show. Now I'm going to put our bolts in here. So first I'm going to put holes all the way through with these. Miss select this, just hold control and click with these circles here. Solid, extrude planar curve straight, extrude them all the way through. Now we're going to do a Boolean difference. So solid and difference. The first set is the spokes and right click and the second set are all these and right click. If your Cylinders don't disappear. That means the delete input option was not set to yes. So you can delete them and you'll see that you should have holes there. So now I want to make some little counter bores for this. So it's going to take the outside circles, hold control and click if you mistakenly select that. And I'm going to extrude them to save my snap. I want to make sure they come inside here about a quarter of an inch. And now we're going to do a Boolean difference one more time. So solid difference. The first set is the large object, right click, and the second set are these cylinders. And right click. Okay. Bolt hole circle. And we can bring back our rim surface. So you can see I've built this extending out beyond. So now I want to trim off the excess and join this up to this. So first thing I'm going to do is a Boolean difference. So solid and difference. The first set of objects is the rim. And right click. We can set delete input to no. And this will be the second set and right click. Hit all process. Once complete, you can see that now it's cut it so we can get rid of these excess pieces here. And if we want to make this and the rim all one piece, we can do a Boolean union, solid union, select both and right click. And there we go. Under analyze, edge tools, show edges, it's always important to check the object along the way so you don't go too far if something went wrong. Select the object, right click, still have no naked edges. Bring the tire back. So you can see we're just about there. I'm going to go ahead and stop the lesson here. And in the next step, we're going to be putting the tire texture on.